dough done. This will not do. This will not do at all. I'm going to have to fix this. Okay, welcome to another video from Felix Stowe Phone Forge. And this is the. That's too big. This is the double down I was commissioned to mod. And after a little bit of uh, conversation with Devon, and if you watch this, Devon, all the painting's done. I've just got to assemble everything and solder up your select fire kit. So things will be in the post to you within about a week, I would think, depending on how mental my first uh, week on placement is. Fortnite at the long at the latest. So what we've got is the double down, and we've decided to turn this into a proper shotgun pistol. So we are going to see what we can do. Obviously. We are going to uh, upgrade the spring and see if we can't take out the smart AR system. See if we can't get a little bit more than 57 FPS out of it. <clears throat> that would be nice, wouldn't it? We are going to ha, jog the camera. That is a really, really simple mechanism. Look, it hasn't even got a proper bloody spring. So there's our catch, which is fairly weak. May have to reinforce that. How the... Jeez. Oh, we shall see. Not quite a bigger spring in that. Very simple mechanism. We are going to brass the barrels a bit as well. Let's see what we've got in here. Let me just take all these screws out. It's a nice, elegant pistol, to be honest, but 57 FPS. I mean, that's pretty elite, isn't it? That is just not good enough. Modded up, this might make a fairly useful holdout pistol, a last ditch sort of thing. One, I really do need to get an electric screwdriver, don't I? There's two, there's three. And there's the last one. All right. Where's our plunger? We've got quite a nice spring guide, actually. And that's, that's actually quite a powerful spring. Fortunately, the head screws off. No, it doesn't. It's riveted on. It's riveted on. Look at that. That's a rivet. What are they doing putting a rivet on? Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Okay, spring-wise, what have we got? Well, I've got a length of worker 25N. That might be worth it. And then we've got some K26. Can we get K26 in there? The answer to that is possibly no. Why is that riveted on? The bloody plunger head is riveted on. Right, I'm going to have to sit and uh, think about how to get that off. Riveted! Okay, because the head's riveted on, <coughs> I'm basically having to destroy this spring to get it off. I did try winding it off. It, for some reason, just wasn't coming off. There we go. We got it now. Just wasn't coming off. There we go. We can get that off now. We.
And we've still got a usable length of spring there, so I might find a use for that somewhere. Okay, so what can we fit in there? Well, we can fit quite a big length of uh, Worker 25M on, I think. Yeah, get enough compression. How far back does this have to go? So that fits in there. And the head comes back to there. So we are going to need... Ooh. We need that to compress down to... Oh. About an inch and a half. That's not going to be a lot of spring, is it? <laughs> I don't think that's going to do anything. Even if we cut it to size, say about there, is that going to compress? I don't think we can get enough compression on that. No. That's a bit much. Okay, what about our... K25. Let's open this up. Sorry, our K26. Firstly, will this fit? Will this fit in the plunger? Yes, good. Can we get about that much of it to compress? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we're going to have to cut it down to about there, I think. And we're going to have to take off these guides there because they're just not gonna fit. Okay, I'm gonna cut this with my Dremel. And I'm gonna cut it to about there. Always wear eye protection. for a minute to let the spring cool down. Where do we go to? Where do we cut? I've lost it. There we are. Halfway through yet? Nope. And some more. is why you wear eye protection. There we go. That should fit in there quite nicely. Right, now we've got to do is cut these down. I think I'm going to keep some of those as... fit inside there? I don't know. Let's have a look. <sighs> this is going to be hard. I have to do that off camera. Okay, we got that started and now we can just wind this on. I want to see how far I have to cut those down. Yeah, I'm going to take those off. Right, don't go away. Okay, we've got the K26 on, and I think it's a bit long. I really do. We've got way too much pre-compression there, and there is no way on earth anyone's going to uh, manage to prime that. So I'm going to take two coils off, and we'll try again. We have shortened the K26 by 
a couple of coils, put it back together, and I fingers crossed, will it catch? It will. I am astonished. What are we getting now? Let's have a look. Through the chronograph. 94. We've almost doubled it. 75 out of the second barrel of Smart AR. Okay, next step. Let's take the AR out. Okay, a full dart length of brass is going to be This is why you should never throw odd cuts away because they'll always come in handy at some point. Right, where were we? Where were we? There. There we go. These have already been flared out at one end, so what I'm going to do is keep the <sighs> crimped end shut to prevent vacuum loading. There we go. Next one. Drilling out the uh, the barrels, which is a pain in the ass, quite frankly. And buggering about with the spring. That really was quite a reasonable little mod. Okay, all we've got to do now is, and he's going to need drilling out again with more, yeah, you have to use a slightly bigger drill to uh, get these in, I think, yeah, okay, more drilling, okay, we have after much drilling with a 17 30 seconds inch drill and a bit of filing fitted our brass in there so what is the result well i'm going to use x shot darts because these seem to fit quite well what we have is this and that didn't come out because that was stupidly tight and that that dart has swollen one of the problems with this sort of thing is if one of your darts is looser than the other one, it's going to come out first because it's going to start moving first and that means the other dart is going to get less air. So shotguns are vulnerable to uh, what's the word? Dark quality, yes. Sorry, and you may have noticed it's a completely different uh, lighting, and I've probably got different clothes on. That's because work has been completely insane, and I haven't uh, you know, finished this for some time. So we were getting maybe what fifties out of this double down at the start. Let's see what we're going to get out of it now. 
Now I'm going to single this, I'm going to hold this dart in and I'm going to fire this one and we're going to see what we get. Hundred and four. Chances of getting two darts through that chronograph and getting a meaningful reading are oh, zero. We're probably getting about a hundred though. Let's try again. Just for those of you who like more than one data point, and get that through the centre and 102. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously we're gonna get a little less with two darts, but That's pretty good. I mean, this is intended as a holdout pistol, you know. You're carrying it, something's gone wrong, you're out of ammo, whoop, bang, pop. You've got a shotgun. <laughs> because we've taken the dart posts out, we can actually turn this into something more of a shotgun. Sorry about that, I got a little sidetracked. Short darts, we're going to put two Worker Gen 3s in each barrel and see if this will fire them. Yeah. This is really quite sensitive to the width of the ammunition, actually. And if one barrel is plugged by a dart that is thicker than another, you get all sorts of interesting things. Is that one broken? Oh, where are we? Is that going to go in? Let's try that. Yeah, that works. So we can actually short dart this and that will give us a genuine shotgun effect. Those are going quite fast, but it's not a chance I'll get those two, two of those through a chronograph. One of them, should I try? What do you think? Let's just try two short darts in each, one short dart in each barrel. Round them down. And see what we're going to get. Again, we're going to have to try and get one dart through. So I'm going to plug the barrel and... Not so good because the other dart moved. Hey ho, there we go. So it will shoot pretty well. Now when you consider that this was getting 50 out of the box and was only firing one shot at a time, it's now getting 100 and it's firing two. There you go, double down. Hold out shotgun pistol. Small, elegant, easily holsterable, and not so bad. And all for the cost of a spring and a couple of bits of brass. There you go. Thank you for watching this one. Sorry it's been so long. I have been doing 30, I've been doing 12 and a half hour days with up to three hours traveling. So I've been completely knackered. Anyway, this that last placement is due to come to an end, so hopefully the video, video schedule will get back to normal over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, I've been Felix the Phone Forge. Hope you found something interesting about the video. How to turn a double down into a fairly decent shotgun pistol. One final shot. And we'll see where we go. Last one. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Try dodging two at once. Thanks for watching.